I can make your toes curl and your thoughts swirl. Put your body through his paces, you gon' work, girl. Come on. You know. I'ma make you ride this pony. Come slide up on me. We gon' play a new game called Hide Baloney. Yeah. They know. Welcome back to the Tic Tac Toe Show, and we urge you to hide your kids, hide your wives, <laughs> hide your husbands, because they are sexually assaulting everyone on the streets, people. Hello, I am Tick, the African Unicorn. Welcome back. Oh, yeah, I'm Talk, the bitch with the condescending tone, who's been kissed violently. Bisexual bitch that is always here for you. Nah, you're not anybody. Was that your bones? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been cracking. Oh, well, they haven't bent you properly recently. Uh, it's, been long. Like... it's been long. She hasn't done long. anything violently of late. You you know, like, put your hands up if you had sex recently. Of course, you would. Hey! Put your hands up. <laughs> Yo, no, I did not put my hands up. Tell me, no, no I did not put my hands up. Have yes. you, have you actually noticed that for a very long time? That's, that's no, cool. have you actually that's noticed cool. that cool. for cool. a very cool. long cool. time? Can you all speak one at a time, please? Let's Hold up. There. Okay, yeah. I'm holding up. <laughs> I'll say it. Are you trying to say recently you tack haven't had sex? Nah, not since January. So what's going on? Um, tell me, tell me. <laughs> See, then, okay, this is, okay, if she hasn't had sex since January, then I haven't had sex since last year, January. That's Have I told you of any sexual story or any sexual escapade? Okay, okay, okay now, mm, yeah, and now I'm really sad for you guys, so let's just move on. Yeah, so. <laughs> this is just really getting me down, and now I feel bad for actually bringing it up because... No wonder you guys are frustrating me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, uh, t- uh, what this week has been all hyped about uh, the sex for grades yes. issue. If you haven't watched it or you have watched it, we're going to still tell you about it anyway. Mm-hmm. So, basically, they caught some people trying to squeeze breasts. <laughs> and she's and trying to be <laughs> some side niggas and side se- <laughs> you know, You know what I love about this? I love how they like. Put, put the two demographics uh, against each other. You have the Nigerian <laughs> lecturer and how they operate smoothly. And they just like Straight introduce you into like slowly like but then the Ghanaian Straight to the point. Like, like, let me just be your side nigga. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just be your side nigga. That's I, want all I, want. Um, I don't want to inconvenience you. No, don't about let me you. No. Uh, about the shoes. This, this, have you ever this, been kissed violently? This switch from the shoes <laughs> to <laughs> let me actually have you ever been kissed violently? Or just like, bro, <laughs> well, I've been in those types of situations before because when we were, when I was actually working for the flower shop at okay. the mall, mm-hmm. there was this guy that always used to come through. He was an old man. He never used to buy anything. Mm-hmm. He was like middle aged, not really really old, and he was like. Oh, you're really smart. I'm like, yes, of course I am. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> and so it's like, oh, you're really smart. Why don't you get a better job? I'm like, okay. Can you find me a better job? Like, oh, yeah, okay, I would like a better job. Blah, blah, blah. So all of a sudden, it turned into, hmm, I would like to have been able to go out with you. Oh, my I God. I like the way you smile. Oh, you are beautiful. And I would just be like, <laughs> oh god when he, and he would just stand there sometimes he would just stand there looking at me and i'll be like i'm sorry i'm he's, really he's busy in a trance. He's like in a, he'll he's just stand trance. there and be smiling <laughs> then the gorilla used to come along and one day he came along where the gorilla was was there and i, oh, and I told the gorilla to just wait look 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 and he came through and he t- tried to hug me and i was like <laughs> no <laughs> Seriously, I can actually write a story book on what's been happening to me <laughs> of late because this sex for great thing doesn't actually really stop at the educational sector. We actually need to bring it to the 
Like everywhere, every like, single place. Sex yeah, for jobs, just, sex for employment, yeah. sex to like stay employed, sex to just <laughs> have somebody to be your clients. Like, really, <laughs> like, bro, I just sex came. Sells. Like, sells. I just came to your office. Like, yeah, okay, this is what I do. This is what I do. So, what is it I can do for you? And you're telling me you're strong for me, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I'm going this. to do to you? You can handle this. This is too small. Oh, this will be. Do you easy. know what I'm going to do to you? I and is that because I'm wearing pants? No, bro. bro. The nigga told me, yeah, I also like to be tied up. That you can smack the yeah, heat by yes, you. Yes, he hasn't even taken you on a date, and he gave you his specifications. Yeah, it was that's, like that's <laughs> all that. Like he, he was just wants to. Go straight after all the things. What's the food to be doing? Please, sorry. What's that thing with the breast? No time. The way they say it with the breast, I will suck your breast. And the way I will suck your breast. And the way I will suck your breast. And the way I will suck your breast. Man, it's actually really, really crazy and it's yeah. traumatizing. Okay. And okay, we can actually let's just like really talk about talk about this film because it's like something that it's so like. Yeah, it's so normal that we don't even complain about it anymore, which is the worst thing ever. Because it's like, oh, uh, yeah, I know you're gonna touch me. Oh, okay, he's looking at me like that, so mm-hmm. that means, and he it definitely means trust. It's like, mm-hmm. hmm, the way this man is looking at me mm-hmm. as I walked into this room, I mm-hmm. the way they even look mm-hmm. at you. Mm-hmm. The fact that I don't know, I don't know. Naked sometimes. I'm like, did I wear something bad? Did I like? Is this skirt long enough? Like, bro. Sometimes you have to do stuff and check yourself. Like, and it's so normal to the extent that you you actually get to think of it before you get there. It's like, okay, so what are the possible things that might actually happen there? Mm. So yeah, it, that's the same thing. You know why is it that we always have we always have to think that far when going to see anyone male? It's like okay going to this place there's now, a high chance of this 50 percent chance of if i wear this that I'll might get this. that he might think that yeah but if i wear this, this he might not take me that seriously mm-hmm. but he'll still want to fuck with me it might still actually want to say something she and true, all true, true. so it's, 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 yeah, it's true. just it's just like that. it's never like oh maybe he may consider no matter even no matter how good he seems there's no way you know if you, as soon as you look at him the moment you enter you, you see his face you look the way he looks at you because i when don't know about welcome you again like oh hi darling <laughs> oh baby hi sweetheart oh, like i like it's it's just fucking stupid because sometimes i remember where i go for job interviews and it's mostly about it's just like why won't you think about what i do professionally like okay mm-hmm. fine you you've interviewed me okay what do you do well Fine. Then the next thing, you know, you look beautiful. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I really like what you're wearing today. You should. I, you I would buy. You, wait, have you thought of getting other colors to it? Like I could buy, buy you the, the black, black. I could buy you the white. Then you wear it to do with this position. I'm trying to fill in your motherfucking company. company. You need to be sexy, bitch. <laughs> but we can't help it too. Though. We can't yeah. really help it because we we need to get like, yeah. I'll, but yeah, there's a standard. Okay, yeah. moving on. Anyway, it's like there's enough talk about this anyway. So it's just like, oh, someone leaving. Go the door, goddamn door, bitch. Bye. <laughs> Say hi, Lucy. Hey. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Yeah, someone's just leaving the studio. We had a visitor today who was mega, mega quiet. Oh, before we actually move on with this, actu- uh, move on with this, we have some Q and A. Oh, okay. shout uh, from me. Actually, shout out to um, Gaz. Okay. He actually asked me, um, Gaz, Gra- Gaz Raphael, from the Kana 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 Kana. If you get that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do mm-hmm. get that. Yeah, so um, he asked me what was the craziest thing I've ever done. And I actually had to think about this because there are a lot of crazy things that I cannot really mention on a podcast. Okay. So, which are very much illegal. And we will still wind me up in jail. But the craziest thing, which is related to the next segment of this podcast, is when... I fit half a cucumber in my pussy. How big was the cucumber? Yes. 
It's yes. simple. It's just a simple you question. Just, you just want to know. It was this big. It was the size of my um upper wrist. It was this big. Wow. Literally this big. Like half. um like you know, the size you know, of my you know, you know, half. You actually get half, half, half of it. Like, like half. Yeah, a donko dick. <laughs> Were you able to walk after? No. <laughs> a donko dick. A donko dick had a night a bright idea. Okay. So one day, because he thought, because I wasn't really in the mood anyways to even fuck, because I just fucked, cheated with the gorilla. Okay. Just like, this morning. And I was like, ah, no, it hurts anyway, so it's like, yeah, I'm not going to actually feel you enough to even come anyway, so let's not do this. So, literally, he just like, tries, like, lubing me up and everything, and he literally, I was just like, Wow, nigga, you really fit half this cucumber in me without actually my permission. Okay. Oh, you enjoyed it, right? No. Really? It was actually a bit painful. I was like, it was a time where it was like, that's the thing for this sex, and that's why it's related to the sex rebrace issue, because it was just like, uh, and it was like... Are you uh, guys coming in or what? My niggas, honestly. Y'all yeah. niggas need to now speak, because... Now, now we're gonna actually make you fucking speak because you interrupted us twice. So, say hello to Lucy. Lucy, what are, what's your opinion on this matter? What's the matter? Sex for grades. Uh, I think it's a long-standing tradition that needs to be upheld. Because, <laughs> let, let's be real. Let's be real. Some of the women who hold high positions in most establishments in this country didn't get there by grades. Yes, it sucks. Yeah. The situation sucks, but so, it is what it is. So just because, if we're being honest Yeah, about. but just because people have done it doesn't mean... I think it's a sick thing. Don't get me wrong. I don't support it. Mm -hmm. Not one bit. Mm -hmm. But we have made it such a normalized thing to the point where it doesn't phase us. All of you who saw that BBC document documentary, not, none of you were shocked. No. Nah, nah. <laughs> All of you thought it was funny. Yeah. Well, so if I tell funny. you it's it a long-standing institution in this country that needs to be uphold, you see where I'm coming from now. We have made it so normal that the moment it came out, not nobody was shocked. None of you. Yeah, all you did was make jokes this. all throughout. Yeah, but that's the type of society we live in. Exactly. We so make that's my jokes answer. out of everything, which we shouldn't. Yeah, true. But that don't mean it should remain a joke. I think it's disgusting, but then again, it's really not illegal. Yes, it yeah. is. No. Okay, wait. In a sense, it's not really illegal if it's fair trade. It's fair trade. No, it's not fair trade if you're forced but, to do it. Yeah. No, but, because there are. We know that there are chicks that start. walk into the fuck off. <laughs> Sorry. We know. We know there are chicks that walk into an office okay. and be like, "Yo, you know what? I'm not going to be it's around this It's a fair trade. Semester. You know why? I'm yeah. not going to be around. Wait, hold on, chick. Chill. Let me finish. The chicks who walk into to an office like, look, I'm not going to be around this semester, so we want my pussy and pass me, please. Like, that's all I can do for you right now. So take yeah. this. There are chicks like that. But yes, when I you're put into a position where a, okay, wait a bit, let you I won't just bust your ass now. <laughs> okay. You report it now, she Exactly. Be, so be now be let me it. let me make a point. This is why it's fair trade. Do all the videos. All you hear is have you ever been kissed violently? <laughs> <laughs> now, mind you, you could have sat uh, left or you could have sat there. When he offered you the grades for your pussy, you could have left and gone to report. If nobody believed you, you could have just walked away from the school, gone to the tabloids. You were not forced to make that decision. It's a, f it's a fucked up situation that you have to be in that position. Yeah, but But this... nobody forced you to make that decision. Yeah, but I it feel is bad. A case I disgusted. Study. Yeah, no, no, no. But it is a case study. You have to realize it is a case study of students who don't have the option to just get up and leave. Mm -hmm. Some not? people don't. Ah, uh, do you know how much school fees is? So go report. Go report. Go report now. Go report. No. Okay. It was. It was. It was it. Now let me show, let me tell you. The, the, the man, man, the man I, that just asked somebody if she wanted to be. Wait, wait. Let wait. me tell you the fucked up yeah. thing. The fucked up thing was right. The moment he said, let me have sex with you and give you grades, right? Okay. It was sexual harassment. Mm -hmm. That would have been a police issue. But the moment she said, okay, 
You get it. None of them agreed for them. If he comes consent. None of them agreed. No, I'm not talking about the video person. I'm talking about the woman who experienced that. You get what I mean? Mm -hmm. Well, if you were coerced to do something... Coercion is a really broad term people don't realize. If I walk up to you, right, I meet you and I've been chatting you up for four months and suddenly I get you to say, you love me. Were you coerced? Yes, because you made me believe something. That's where I can actually sue you for emotional damages. You see women. Wait, this is a very long topic. This is really, really a very Ta long topic. Tag. Do you think it's coercion? <laughs> it's running, it's moves, it's vibes, it's love. It's vibes, it's love. Don't <laughs> thunder fire you there. It will punish you. When, when somebody was pulling your leg and giving you vibes before and you were crying, you, you said what? Idiot. <laughs> I'll punish you. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Yeah, I told my cucumber story. Yeah, so that, 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 if I'm tracking back to it, it's mm -hmm. like. Yeah, he had something over me anyway, so it was just like, yeah, whatever. What so, did he have over you? Fact I, I was said. cheating. Oh, okay. As of that time, you knew you was cheating? No. Oh, okay, so... The guilty con con. <laughs> <laughs> he never had that over you? He never, yeah, yeah he, he never, never did, did have yeah. that over me. Mm -hmm. But literally, <laughs> I was in a place where I was like, okay, bitch, you have nowhere to go. Yeah. All right? So if you move, if you fuck up, if he knows, she is going to go down. You is like, and he did find out. She do, she, I said she do, she did. <laughs> she did go down for like two, three weeks, even probably a month even. I can't really remember because there's a lot of alcohol in the mix. Mm -hmm. But yeah. yeah. It went on after that even. I was so fucking unbearable because there was a lot of anger and I was just like, bro, I don't want to see you no more. So stop being in my face. Yeah. You get that? Sure, sure. So it was just like, yeah, I had no real choice because I was just like, I can't really depend on a sad nigga like that. No. You know, you can't just call up a sad nigga like, yo, yo. you're a sad nigga. Mm -hmm. You can't. Rules. Mm -hmm. Apply. Okay. And I couldn't leave that bastard yet. <laughs> Thank you for the Didn't perfect time. Perfect time. <laughs> and you had the perfect time and you yeah. left. Yes. And so. I'm the psychic you guys, your main nigger. Food and sex. Food and sex. Oh, wait now, wait now. Let everybody share that crazy story. Oh, okay, so, okay, yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah, so what's the most craziest thing you've done? I don't really know. Jesus is not. Oh, okay, so, right? <laughs> I'm trying to remember. <laughs> okay, okay, what attack? How are you going while you're remembering? I always say this story every time because I still wonder how I did that, why it's, I did it. Yeah, this is the same story that I'm thinking of. Uh, I wonder, like, uh, Bro, I still wonder I actually jumped the fence. How did you jump on <laughs> first try? Like, no, I, I really did not know. I was so paranoid that day, and I was like, so, so H I G H. Like, it was that, I was on that level, and it's like, yeah. Your favorite just... sex position is on your side. How you don't have enough body strength <laughs> to lift yourself up. I did it. I actually did it, and uh, yeah. For the sake of dick. Yeah, and love, and it was, it was, it was good. It was great. How are you feeling? I feel great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, sure, sure. So have you remembered? Yeah, it was um after my my relationship started going down or let's say it just went down. Yeah. I, that's when I broke my engagement and everything. But I was that's not called that an engagement, my nigga. <laughs> So he, I, I was so tired of staying in the house. Okay. I was tired of seeing his face and everything. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go out. Mm -hmm. So there was a place, there's this place that I used to work in. It's a, it's a club, a restaurant, and a mm -hmm. hotel. And I used to be the photographer there, doing the snapping everything that's going on at night. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Okay. So I was there. Some of my friends came over. We were talking, talking, 
more friends came, uh, joined. Then there was an after party. And I didn't tell him where I was going exactly. Mm -hmm. Because I left him at home. Round and I went up, to, round up, get there, get there. And... <laughs> you just confused me, but okay. So we went, we went to, we went to a friend's place when we were having fun and everything, and actually started kissing up another guy. Uh, and I called him. Uh -huh. I called him that. Yo, come pick me up. I'm tired. I want to go, but I'm too fucked up to do anything. So he came all. The, I gave him directions. He came there. And while he was waiting outside, he's called and told me he was waiting outside. I was grinding on another nigga and sucking face with him. And I made him stay outside for like 10 minutes until I finally got up. And I left. Wow. Go meet him outside. Damn, that bitch is crazy. She crazy. No, honestly, speaking, I, every time you talk about your stories, I lose respect for you every day. Because you be crossing some type of lies, my nigga. Yeah, like yeah, even yeah. I didn't do that. Like I, I, I had line, the decency line. to grab ass in the dark at least. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly speaking, no. like I at least no. had decency. We've broken up. Okay, we've broken up. He no judgments. No can... judgments. Safe place. Safe place. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Mm -hmm. Well, he actually did something really crazy, and I feel I was actually quite disrespectful. I don't know why you're like that though. But why? Why are you like that in your life? Okay, let's just move on to the fact that we're <laughs> I'm not going to answer that question. Okay. Off the top of my head, questions. Have you have any of you ever had sex with food before? With who? Food. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> food. What did you hear? I, was, I just want to know what did you hear? I'm like, I did not hear anything. I'm not like with who? <laughs> with food, I think of food. Yeah, can ice cream come as like under the yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. ice cream mm -hmm. chocolate strawberry banana strawberry you going shopping <laughs> <laughs> showing grocery shopping <laughs> yeah more like it and and bananas in what way like peeled and shoved or like that I think Lucy wants to say something I love stories but you have <laughs> Have you had sex with Fufu and Ice Block? What the? What the? What? 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 Just a tea, tea, just say block. something. Fufu and ice block. I just want to know, like, Fufu and ice block, do you like rap the Fufu and ice block? <laughs> or you like show the, show ice, the, show the ice, ice block first and seed it with Fufu? Mm, probably. But anyway, you t uh, talk educate us about food and sex. Well, um, okay. Food and sex, basically, um, it's you actually trying to incorporate some um, food into your sexual life and when you're having sex. So, um, there are a few foods that you can actually use. Not all food is actually meant to go into the vagina. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you can't just go and oh, like, you can't just go and like, you can't just go and <laughs> well, you see, okay, it's not all food that's actually supposed to go in there basically because of infections and all, but using our foods, you could actually go with um, strawberries, um, whipped creams, ice cream, chocolate, and, yeah, chocolate syrup, um, Nutella, and the rest. And um, you see, that's why I love spaghetti. You get well, you can use spaghetti, you could yes. actually cook spaghetti, and you go the lady. Yeah, and the remember trams. that video that we saw where they stretched out her vagina and they were eating out a bowl of cereal from her, her pussy? Remember that one? Oh, Remember uh, that one? Yeah, that's like some extreme type of like food <laughs> play yeah, during yeah. sex. <laughs> Yo, I, I, we, people be doing the most. Uh, yeah, people be people doing, doing the most. 
must I, I look honestly I what I'm at some type of places in porn that mm-hmm. you know I just wander around and then I go to porn check out porn spoofs and then sometimes I just end up in that part of some place where they be stretching people's pussies open and pouring in milk and cherryos and just and alcohol and like, beers and it's ooh, like I don't know that is, I don't know. I, mean, I don't think I can actually do that. Yeah, you think I'm I'm, I'm crazy to some bad boy. You see that, that that type is just like so. To be honest, crazy, the most crazy. the most I've actually let, had my position is four fingers anyway. Four fingers and a dick. Wait, wait, and wait. We have to understand yeah. something. Wait, you see? You see? <laughs> Fingers. Have you actually had four fingers in you before? How many yes. fingers have you had in? I've had, I've had five. But not like you a had first. five. Yeah. Bro, you had five. Then you was, you was fisted to me. I just, that's what I actually feel. No, you had just five. Just, just like, up to here, like here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah up yes. to the knuckles. Um, yeah. To me, you were still fisted. <laughs> It was no fisting. No, fisting, fisting is, is if you blow. blow the hole. I don't care if you put <laughs> heavy distance for the five can enter, bro. You was on the road to being fisted, so you was being fisted. Yeah. So actually, yeah, I've had like um three. Yeah, I mean, just I'm three. Yeah. Three with no dick. No three with no dick. Yes. Well, that's you are. That's another Next time, time. Tight. <laughs> I can tie it too. Oh but please, no! What's tight in that thing? Tight. What do you mean? What's tight in that thing? Are you yeah. chopping? Am I what? Are you chopping? I, I know what I, I know. Like to I just do. Can you just say <laughs> that? Can you just like, may the blood of Jesus cover me? <laughs> anyway, we have to round up now. We're on our last five minutes. Thank you all for tuning in to. Oh, you didn't do your segment. Okay, mm. there's five more. Okay, briefly talk about what you want to do. Okay, so to the, um, on toast. Total Diary for today, we have Adu Ludwig Victor. He is from the House of Hansberg. He was the Emperor of Australia. I swear to God, you, you do. You know what? I will promise you, you can start first next time. Oh, <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you so much. I love you. Donald Trump loves you. Peace out, people. I need to. I, I, need to, I, I want to build a wall. <laughs> And they're going to pay for the <laughs> Good night, you go get a night. <laughs> oh my god. You guys okay. Hmm. Yes. 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 I can make your toes curl and your dog swirl. Put your body through his paces, you gon' work, girl. Come on. You know. I'ma make you ride this pony, come slide up on me We gon' play a new game called hide baloney, yeah They know